Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, today Ethan and I are going down to our local public works to uh, do a favor for our local fire department. Uh, they have a panel van that's been sitting for a long time that's going to be used in an extrication class that's upcoming at our shop. So we're going to pick it up and bring it up here uh, so that it'll be here whenever they uh, have the extrication class. Plus the public works is uh, trying to clean out their lot. So here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. This old panel van right here, they drug out of the weeds. Uh, I've already been down to look at it. Normally we would use our 20 ton single axle Century 4024 to tow this type of vehicle. Uh, we are going to haul it on the rollback uh, for several reasons. Uh, tires are dry rotted on this thing. Uh, it is extremely, extremely hot. Uh, this week we're under uh, excess excessive heat warnings and uh, hot pavement and dry rotted tires do not fare well together so rather than risk a, a blowout on this thing because the back tires were almost completely flat and the steer tires well any of them all of them are dry rotted so we're going to put it on the deck Ethan's with me. All right, you ready, bub? All right. Gloves? Or do you have some over there? buddy start by let's taking these straps off they'll be in the way loading it Back in the way. yep get it out of here Dad said, Yo, well, I know this is going to our place for the fire department to use to cut it up. Yeah. Dad said, Y'all are having an auction or something? Or? Yeah, it's an online bidding auction. Okay. Yeah. And what all are you getting rid of? Everything from that truck right there around that whole corner. Okay. With the exception of one Ford truck now that's already gone, but yeah. The old that, that yellow truck, that's the one that you, know, you pulled. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one there, down the end, and then around the bottom. Do you mind if I look at no. some? Okay. Nope. What about it's, the old uh, squad car? It's going too. I don't know if it's PD. So yeah. Does it it's still have it's, lights it's, or anything on it, or probably not? I don't even know what's on it. I have no idea. My bet. I know that. It. Um, figure everything. Well, being being so close, you know, it yeah. wouldn't be hard for us to move anything. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've been we're looking for something to use as a uh, blocker vehicle, traffic control vehicle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. The only we'll thing see. I said would be that, that top part. You can look at it through. No, yeah. That's all right. I'll, I'll check it out. Okay. I'll check it out. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna get this loaded and then I'll stop and look. All right. Go ahead and slide the bed back and tilt down easy does it
raise it up and there you go. You act like you know what you're doing. Now, you've not had to deal with this before, but watch your bare skin on this deck. I know you've got long sleeves and you got gloves, which is great. But this uh, deck, black deck on hot sun, it will burn you. It's hot through my jeans right now. Very, very hot. To the uh, driver's side front by the uh, oh shoot oil drive bucket and that V bridle that I just unhooked I need that one instead of what I got please trade it out thinking I was going to use this uh, with the big J's but I need the other one Here's an R hook. Slide it in there and lock it in place, just like that. All right. Now, Ethan. Oh, wow! Even the rocks on my back are warm out here in the sun. Put that back up where you found the other one, the other V-bridle, please. Okay, get down off the bed. I got a task for you, okay? The back doors will not securely close. So I need you to either get uh, ratchet straps and go from one hinge to the other to keep the doors closed, or I need something. The best way would probably just get a ratchet strap and go from one hinge, like right in here, to the other side, right across the center. The long black ratchet straps that we have in this toolbox on the driver's side. Ought to do just fine. All right. I don't know how well the other one showed up, but again, I'm using the, this is a cluster hook. This is a mini J right here. It's what we call a T and an R. place and that one will not come out once force is applied it's not coming out all right hey Ethan this is fine just go hinge to hinge like I told you right up here
Hey, bud. Okay. Go ahead. You can let me show you the trick. Push this all the way in and it will retract itself while you push that red button. Then you still have to cinch it down. But it takes most of the slack out by itself. That's good. Just enough to keep the doors from flying open. Going down the road. No seat, no key. Some of the trannies will. Oh, nope, that one not go into gear. We may have to pop the linkage on the tranny. To unload it anyway. Like I said, normally we wouldn't haul a vehicle this size on the rollback. Now, need some wood blocks. I'm gonna be underneath it. I'm gonna try to. Nah, I'll do it once it gets up on the bed. We'll just. It ain't gonna hurt the tires. Remember how to lasso the tires? Okay. I always have to get the rocks off the bed too. Because if it flies off and a rock flies off and breaks somebody's windshield. We could be held liable. Here, lock this in. Lock this end in. Here, this part actually goes on the outside of the tire, but then your strap itself goes on the inside. There you go. The bolt tires are just just the outer tires. All you got to have on this. Here. You gotta snug it up there. Yep. Alright, now pull the slack out of it. Crank it down again. Keep going. Alright, there you go. Now go do the same thing on the front, please. Take your chain on on the ratchet and see the hook on the front uh, up by the bucket. Put your chain as tight as you can get it up there. That'll give you a better vantage point. 
You see where I'm talking about? This one tied down. got it secured since we got such a long overhang I'm gonna do some extra people can see our lights but I'm gonna take some extra precautions looking forward to using this for a while and I'll explain more in the description this is a nighttime or daytime but basically this gentleman designed this product after a highway patrol officer friend of his was killed struck by a vehicle uh, what it is it's called a lemur light and this is a special diversion has a floodlight, but then it also has a programmable emergency beacon on the back. And what I'm gonna do on this tow, since we've got such a big overhang, I'm gonna leave that alert emergency light on the back of here to alert traffic. We're just gonna strap it down. But again, that's called a lemur light. And I'll put the website address in the link on the description to the video. All right. All right, bud, in the door pocket, get those uh, couple of those red strobes, strobe flares. There you go. Alright. First of all, that's what I thought. All this is aluminum, aluminum body. So we'll have to put it on our wheel lift. Alright, put it on flash pattern two. Push the button twice. There you go. Now it's just a magnetic mount. Fit right on the wheel lift or on the deck of the truck either one I'd rather have it on the wheel lift make sure it yeah make sure it's magnet side down there you go all right yep we need to put that up let's make sure that it's all tied down good Okay. One little problem, let me point it out to you. Oh. You went through the chain link 
it needs the whole chain link needs to be inside the hook okay go ahead and straighten that out it's all right you'll learn bud here crank it all the way over Now you're good. You see how the whole link grabs in there? That's what you need. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right. I'll walk around, check my side, and close my uh, box door. We'll be ready to roll. Well, I thought we'd be ready to roll. Here, you're taller than I am now. A little bit. Can you fit that to that hole where that door handle is or not? It'll look pretty nope. super dry. It's all right. Not, I don't come to try. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Give me the hook. There we go. Nope. Dang. That's not good. That's all right. All right. Yep, I'm fine. Well, the door's all right. <laughs> That's on. Cable just came loose. This will just help hold that door so the wind doesn't flow through. See, the cable just came loose. No problem, man. No problem. All right, load up. I've been looking forward to demoing that lemur light. I really, really like it, and I like the cause. You know, like I said, the gentleman designed it to help all kind of emergency response personnel after a trooper friend of his was struck by and killed on the interstate. I love that he was being proactive and trying to make something positive out of a negative situation and try to help people in different industries become safer. It's easily portable, rechargeable battery. I love it. All right. Did you get warm enough? Oh, yeah. I was freezing. Do what? I said I was freezing out there. take it easy this thing's top heavy so we're gonna take it nice and easy Beat up, but if it still runs, we might be able to use that as a. Uh... But it's a yep. four. I I know. I know. So is this? Pretty much everything here is four. Yeah, we need to check into that. That might be uh, might be something worth investing in. Maybe. Oh, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna turn the camera off while we're driving back. I'm gonna focus on my driving. And then uh, when we go to unload, I'll turn it back on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the shop. Now, before I unload this thing, I'm going to try to get up here. Excuse me. And disconnect the linkage from the transmission and put the vehicle in neutral so it'll roll off of here easier. Good, it's still warm. This side, please. And the uh, toolbox down there, and the black and red toolbox, open it up and give me a pair of side cutters, please. I take this transmission linkage loose so I can put it in neutral so it'll roll off of here. And we can move it around if we need to. Pair of side cutters. Find them? Is that good enough? Yep, that's it. linkage pin. Go ahead and put the side covers back up. There she went. Did you take our uh, red flares off? Yeah. Okay, good. We didn't lose them. All right. Our lemur light is still on. 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The little red button changes the flash pattern. You can have the emergency light on and you can have the flood light on at the same time. Flood light lights up a nice area. This is a charge port, but it also acts as a uh, uh, oh shoot, 12 volt power source if you need it. Right there, lemurlights.com. In loving memory of Taylor Thyfault. End of watch, 523.15. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Actually, the gentleman that uh, come up with the idea for the light he started the Lamer Lights is, if he hasn't changed his plans, he sent me an email. He's supposed to be in the area tomorrow. Today is uh, July 19th, 2017, and he's supposed to be in the area tomorrow and stop by. which would be, uh, be nice. Just set that one down on the ground for now, bud, okay? The other one too? No, as long as it's up in front, it's okay. Okay. All right, now stand back because this is in neutral now and it should free roll. Don't get behind it. All right, since this is so heavy, you bring it back just past where the, uh, tilt lock is and you bring it down almost to where it's bottomed out the uh, bar across the bottom of the bed is that way it doesn't bring your front end off the ground before you roll it backwards that way you keep your center of gravity forward of your drive and then as you get closer to the ground with the back of your bed, you can raise up a little, slide back a little. Now you're all the way extended. Go like that. Yep. Come on, baby. since it's uh, got such a long overhang it's digging into the ground Stand in front, off to the side, all right?
strap back on like I've got it here. And tie them down. Get the strap off the back. but I gotta unhook the V bridle. Ethan wanted to wear the other GoPro, so we're gonna see how that works out. Let's see it from Ethan's perspective. Ugh. All right. Twist, drop out, twist again. And it's out. There she is, all dropped out, ready for the fire department to cut it into pieces. So sad, we can fix it up and use it as a food truck. There's a reason that it's been sitting in junk for a while, buddy. I don't know what it is, but somebody had a reason for junking it out. Give me just a second, it'll be up there. Not sure where the S hook came off of the strap from. We'll hold on to that. Spool this one, bud. We'll have to get the four wheeler out and re spool it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she sits. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how long it's going to be, how long it'll sit here, but. Uh, I will do video when the extrication class comes in because uh, we've already been invited to be a part of it. I'm not sure how it's going to be staged yet, but something to look forward to. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.
gonna be some unusable parts because I smacked my head into the trailer or the truck sometimes. Alright. Be sure to get rid of all the gravel that's on the bed. Just take your hands. I gotta get the sweat out of my eyes first. That's alright. I got it. Just oh. we gotta make sure all the gravel's off. Alright, turn your camera on. I don't know how. Here. Forgot. <laughs> 